Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to change the automatic transmission fluid in a car. Okay, I've put together everything we're going to need here for our automatic transmission flush. I've got two containers full of automatic transmission fluid. Now this is specific to the model car that I've got. And if you're unsure on what oil to use, you're best to just go into your automotive store and they'll be able to look up the manufacturer and model of your car and match the right oil that you're meant to be using for your transmission. And I've added a half container full of new automatic transmission fluid. Now this was left over from a previous flush and I've got half a container here. So I'll show you what we're going to do with this later. I've just added some gloves here, they're handy to have when you're working with oil. Got a rag here, some hose and a hose joiner. Also going to need a bucket. And lastly a funnel. Now the automatic transmission is just located down in there. And it's a traditional auto, it's not a CVT automatic. Now the next step is just to take a look at your automatic transmission. And what we're wanting to do is locate the two oil cooler lines. Now there's an oil cooler located in the front of this car. Now oil is pushed into the oil cooler and returned through one of these lines back into the transmission. And that's why we have two lines there. Now they've got a label ATF on them. You may not have hoses that are labelled on your car. But you just need to look out for two lines that run to your transmission, two lines that run to a oil cooler, and you'll be able to carry out this transmission flush. Now normally this would be a perfect time to change the oil filter in your transmission. Now I've looked up online, there is a filter in this transmission but you need to split the transmission to change it. So basically it's only a filter that's changed when the transmission needs to be rebuilt or split in two for any reason. So in this video we're just going to do a transmission flush. Now I thought I'd just show you on paper what we'll be doing here. So we've got our transmission and we've got our oil cooler that's at the front of the car. And running to the oil cooler we have one oil feed line and a oil return line that runs back to the transmission. Now I'm not actually sure on what direction the flow is between the transmission and oil cooler. Now we're just going to remove one of these oil cooler lines from the transmission and we're just going to tap in to this line and connect our hose that I showed you earlier in the video and run that back to a bucket. Now the line on the transmission, we're just going to connect another hose and run that back to the bucket as well. So the idea here is whatever the flow direction is between the transmission and the oil cooler, we'll capture that oil in the bucket. Now the next step is just taking our hose and our hose joiner. We'll be using the hose to flush our transmission and we'll be connecting this hose into the oil cooler lines on our transmission and oil cooler. Now lengthwise we're just going to use two equal lengths of hose here and basically you just need enough length to run to a bucket. Now the hose we're going to tap into is this one here that's probably the easiest one to access. So we'll make a start, we'll get this hose clamp off and we'll tap into this end here and we'll tap into the line going into the transmission. Now we're just going to take one length of hose here and we're just going to pop a hose joiner into one end of the hose. Now once that's done we'll be taking this end here and we'll be connecting into the oil cooler line.
and our other length of hose will just connect into the line running into the transmission. Now just taking a look back up here, I've just set both of these hoses just on top of the engine at the moment, but we'll be running these into a bucket. And I thought I'd just run it out the top of the car here and we'll just have our bucket set up in this area here. So what I'll do is I'll just set these containers up here and we've got our bucket and what I'm going to do is just tape these two hoses just so they don't come loose and end up spilling oil all over the floor. Now the next step is just starting the car and then putting the transmission into neutral. Okay, you can see it flowing out here and it's looking pretty dirty. Now you don't want to run the automatic transmission pump dry. As soon as you see the flow slow to a sputter and spit from the hose like it is here, stop the car and top up the floor. Now I'm just going to empty this bucket into a pan here. That looks pretty black as well, that oil. Okay, so I've emptied the bucket out. That just gives us a little bit more room in that bucket. Now I'm just going to take a container of new transmission oil I had left over. Now I've only got two and a half litres in this one, but I'm going to tip the contents in and I'm just going to use this as a flush. So we'll just pour this into the gearbox. Right, so that's drained and we'll just start the car. I think it was worthwhile just tipping that oil into the transmission. As you can see there's still a lot of dirty oil in there. Ideally you should be seeing new transmission oil getting flushed through. If you don't, you'll just have to repeat the flushing process. So in my case, I'm going to top up the fluid again and repeat the flushing process. So we're just going to top up this automatic transmission fluid and then we'll just run another flush through. So that's looking a lot better. You can actually see the red transmission oil on the side of the bucket there. Now we're just going to refit the oil cooler hose. Okay, so we've got our oil cooler hose connected back up to the transmission there. Now it's time just to fill the transmission with oil. Now I'm not too sure on the quantity of oil this gearbox takes, but judging by the quantity of oil that I first drained from the transmission, we can see we have just under 4 litres of waste fluid. So what I'll do is I'll put in just under 4 litres of fluid into the transmission, and then we'll use the dipstick to check the level and fill if needed. Now the next step of the process is to check the oil level on the dipstick and to do this we need to start the car and get it up to operating temperature. Okay so the car is warmed up now. Before checking the dipstick in the transmission what I normally do is just have my foot on the brake and just select each of the gears. So we'll just uh, put it into reverse into drive and we'll just go through each of these and you can check the level either in park or neutral so I'll put it back into park and we'll check this dipstick now you need to check the transmission oil level when the car is running I'll just turn that around So you can see it's about halfway up the cold, so the car's been running for a while now, so it is up to temperature. So what I'm going to do is just top it up with more oil. Okay, we'll just check this dipstick over again. Now we'll just give it a wipe first. 
Okay, we'll just check that over. Yep, and that's looking pretty good. You can see the oil line is just above the hot indicator there. So I'm not going to put any more oil into that. That's basically at its capacity now. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of another video. We've successfully flushed and changed the transmission oil in this automatic transmission. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.